God is so big and so strong and so mighty There's nothing my God cannot do My God is so big and so strong and so mighty There's nothing my God cannot do My God is so big and so strong and so mighty There's nothing my God cannot do My God is so big and so strong and so mighty There's nothing my God special guest. This young man was one of Jesus' disciples. He was one of um, the most zealous, meaning that he just loved Jesus so much. He loved with his heart. He's one of those, he's one of those kind of guys that wear their heart on their sleeve. Um, he's one of the disciples that unfortunately went through a rough time where Jesus said that he would betray him um, or at least he would deny him. No, he wasn't betrayed him because that's all someone else actually. This young man denied Jesus after three times. I think after that his relationship with Jesus completely changed. But anyway, um, that was a long time ago and we have him now and the most amazing thing just happened and we have the privilege to interview him and um, have him tell us about this miracle that um, they went through just recently. Now you'll remember uh, a couple of weeks ago he had a chat when he was at the library and he was telling us all about what Jesus did when Jesus just arrived uh, upstairs where they were all um, sitting after Jesus had died and um, how Jesus just rocked up 
doors were locked, windows were locked, and there Jesus came, and he was among them. Remember, he told us about that experience. Well, today, he's telling us about another encounter that they had um, with Jesus and God, the Holy Spirit. Absolutely amazing. We are very lucky to have him here with us. Um, why don't you give him a round of applause? Wow, Peter. It's so um, wonderful to have you here. Thank you for joining us. Uh, and we believe you have a story that you would like to tell us about your encounter with God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. Welcome. Thank you for being, for inviting me. It's an um, absolute pleasure. Thank you. Yeah, great to see you. Um, so you've had quite an experience. Why don't you tell us all about it? Well, where shall I start? It's been fantastic. It has been an, ex an amazing experience these last couple of weeks. Well, begin in the beginning. Why don't you start where all good stories start, in the beginning. Well, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. You know that, right? No, 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 no. Not that far back. I mean, the beginning of the day, like how this day started. <laughs> oh, <damn. laughs> It's been ages since I've been speaking to many, many people and many, many crowds. So my tongue sometimes just runs ahead of me. Let me gather my thoughts. How much time do I have? There is just so much to say. Won't you tell us what set it all off? How did it all start? Well, it was Jesus, really. We had spent almost three years with him. We were his disciples. We followed him everywhere. We were with him everywhere. We've listened to his teaching and we heard him teach to crowds of people. We saw him heal the sick and the blind. And we saw him get people right with God. It was fantastic. It was awesome. It's like nothing I've ever experienced in my life. I loved him. And then he was killed. That tore us apart. Well, it tore me apart at least. You do know that he died, right? And that he rose again? Yes, I've heard about that. Haven't you, boys and girls? Yeah. So just before he died, Jesus told us that he was going to go away. But that he would send us a helper. We were all confused and didn't really understand. So who is this helper? He is the Holy Spirit. He comes from God. He is God. He is God everywhere. So how did he come? Did he just knock on the door and say, Hi, hello? <laughs> Not exactly. All the followers of Jesus were together. We were all together in an upstairs room. When all of a sudden, a big loud noise. Unlike a rushing wind. Then there was quivering fire. It was, I don't know how to explain this. It was like ribbons of fire, tongues even. And they all came and they touched us, but they never, they never set us alight. They never burnt us or hurt us. It was scary, but also really exciting. So what was the fire then? It was the Holy Spirit touching us, overwhelming us. We started speaking in foreign languages, Median, Persian, Latin, Greek, and none of us had ever learned those languages at school. We immediately ran out into the streets where there was crowds of people. There were lots of people who had come into Jerusalem from all over the world. And we started speaking in their languages, speaking about the glory of God and all that God has done. What a way to spread God's message. It was wonderful. What did the people you met think about this? 
Some people were amazed and confused all at the same time. But some people, they actually thought we were drunk. Can you imagine that? They thought we were drunk. It was, it was in the morning. It was like 10 o'clock in the morning. 9 o'clock. It was 9 o'clock in the morning. So at that point, I addressed the crowd and told them what had happened. I told them who Jesus was and what Jesus had done. I told them that Jesus came from heaven, died on the cross, and rose again. I told them about the promises of God and that all that God had promised had come true. I told them all to turn to God. I told them all to turn to God. And indeed, thousands and thousands of them believed that Jesus had been risen from the dead. It was amazing. The story of Jesus is amazing. The good news of Jesus is amazing. And it's up to us to tell everyone about Jesus Christ. Wow, Peter, that is an amazing story. Thank you so much for taking the time for coming and speaking to the young boys and girls about your experience. And yes, what a blessing. What an honor that you had to have encountered the Holy Spirit. And yes, for you to be the forefront of starting the church. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And so there you have it, boys and girls, from the man himself, Peter. What an awesome, awesome man who has a heart for Jesus. And we should take example from people like Peter. There are many others from the other 11 disciples and John and James. These are all people that we should look to and they can help us with our journey with Jesus. And so as we celebrate Pentecost this Sunday, we just remind ourselves, or as Peter has reminded us, that Jesus was never going to leave us on our own and that the Holy Spirit is here to help us, He's here to guide us, He's here to fight with us, He's here to comfort us. And the Holy Spirit wants to be in our hearts and guide us. The Holy Spirit is a person that wants to be with you, holding your hand in this journey called life. Well, that is just fantastic news. Because the Holy Spirit is our friend. Because the Holy Spirit is our helper, comforter, protector. It is just fantastic news. And another great thank you to Peter for making the time to come speak to us on this special day, Pentecost, in which he played such a pivotal role in. Uh, thank you very much, Peter. No, it was only a pleasure. I take any opportunity to speak about my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Thank you for having me. Uh, thank you very much, Peter. Okay, boys and girls, let us close in prayer. Heavenly Father, as we celebrate Pentecost today, we thank you, God. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for the love that you have for each and every one of us. Holy Spirit, continue to show your face to us. Continue to guide us and help us, Lord. Show us the way in which Jesus wants us to walk. As we pray in your precious name, Jesus. Amen. Okay, boys and girls, happy Pentecost, and I'll see you again next week. Bye.